Hello everyone, in this lecture video, we will be talking about multi-product cost volume profit analysis. Multi-product CVP analysis is helpful if there are two or more products to be considered and we will going to use the composite break-even point. The composite break-even point will going to help us to determine and to establish the overall break-even point situation of the enterprise. We will going to have to compute for the average unit cost margin or average cost margin ratio, which is equal to the sum of the individual product, unit cost margin multiplied by their sales mix ratio that is based on units if we are talking about unit contribution margin and based on amount if we will go in to use the average contribution margin rate. Sales mix is the standard relationship of the product sold in a given period of time. In the multi-product sales analysis, the sales mix ratio is assumed to be constant. Remember that in cost volume profit analysis, we have multiple factors that are constant. First is the total fixed cost. Second is the unit variable cost. The third one is the unit selling price. And the last but not the least, the contribution margin ratio. And last but not the least, the unit contribution margin or the unit contribution margin ratio. Apple Beagle Company has three product lines under its smartphone categories. We have here the Pro, Pro Max, and the Ultra. Some of the given here are not yet provided, but we can be able to derive those given that are in question mark. For example, we have the unit sales price, and it says here that we have a 75% contribution margin rate, meaning to say that the unit sales price is 100%, then unit contribution margin is 75%, then the unit variable cost is 25%. 25% of 400 or 1 fourth of 400 is 100. Then our unit contribution margin is 400 less 100 is equal to 300 pesos. Now let's try to solve for the Pro Max. We have here the unit sales price less unit variable cost. We will go into have 350 for our unit contribution margin. And to compute for the contribution margin rate, 350 divided by 600, we will going to have 58.3%. Or we can just use 0 0.58. Then for the ultra line up, we have a unit sales price of 700 and a unit contribution margin of 200. Therefore, our unit variable cost is 500. Then for the contribution margin rate, that will be 200 divided by 700 that is equal to 28.57 percent or we can just use 29 percent then for the budgeted sales in units we have a total of 10,000 here then for the pro line up we have 5,000 then for the pro max we have 3,000 therefore 10,000 less 5,000 less 3,000 we will go into have a budgeted sales in units for the ultra line up amounting to 2,000 units. Then for the budgeted sales in peso, we will go into sum it all. 2 million plus 1.8 million plus 1.4 million, that will be 5.2 million pesos. Then for the total fixed cost, since we are talking about cost volume profit, this is constant amounting to 795 pesos. Now let's read for the requirements. First is to calculate for the composite break-even point in units and in pesos. Second is to calculate for the allocated composite break-even point. Then we should be able to determine the sales per mix and determine the composite BEP. And lastly, we will go in to compute for the composite if the profit before tax is 2 million pesos. Now let's compute for the requirement number one. We should be able to come up with the composite break-even points in units and in peso. Let's first have our average unit contribution margin. So for the Pro, Pro Max, and Ultra, the unit 
the unit contribution margin here is 300, 350, and 200 respectively. Then we should be able to multiply it by its sales mix ratio. For the sales mix ratio, we should be able to look at the number of units sold or budgeted units sold in terms of units. So we have here 10,000. So to come up with the ratio, 5 over 10 for the pro. For the pro max, that will be 3 over 10. For the ultra, that will be 2 over 10. So let's write it here multiplied by 5 over 10, or basically that's 1 half, 350 multiplied by 3 over 10, 200 multiplied by 2 over 10, or basically 1 fifth. Let's multiply it together. 300 multiplied by 1 half, that will be 150. 350 multiplied by 3 over 10, 105. And lastly, 200 multiplied by 2 over 10, that will be 40. So let's sum it all together. 150 plus 105 plus 40, we will going to have 295 pesos. This is how you should be able to compute for the average unit contribution margin. Please don't make an error to have 300 plus 350 plus 200. Okay, So that will be 850 divided by 3. That will give you 283. So even though it seems close to the unit contribution margin using the sales mix ratio 295 is close to 283 but the 283 here is incorrect now let's compute for the average contribution margin rate so again if we are talking about unit contribution margin we will go in to use the number of units if we are going to solve for the average contribution margin rate we will go in to use the sales mix ratio in terms of amount. For the pro, we have a budgeted sales of 2 million, 1.8, and 1.4 million for the ultra, respectively. So let's have the sales mix ratio 2 over 5.2 million, 1.8 divided by 5.2, then 1.4 divided by 5.2. Then let's multiply it to the contribution margin rate. We have 75% multiplied by 2 million divided by 5.2. We have 58% multiplied by 1.8 million divided by 5.2. Then lastly, we have 29% multiplied by 1.4 divided by 5.2. For the Pro, we have 29%. For the Pro Max, we have 20%. And for the Ultra, we have 8%. Let's sum it all together. We will go into have 57%. Now that we have the average unit contribution margin, we have the average contribution margin ratio. Now let's try to compute for the average unit selling price. For the Pro, we have 400 Pro Max 600 and Ultra 700. Then let's use the sales mix ratio that we have for the unit contribution margins. The average unit selling price for the Pro lineup is 200. For the Pro Max, it's 180. Then for the Ultra, it's 140. Let's sum it all together. We will go in to get 520 average unit selling price. Just to recap, the average contribution margin is 295, the average unit selling price is 520, and the average contribution margin is 57%. We can now be able to compute for the composite break-even points in terms of units and in terms of peso.
that will be 795 divided by 57%. That will be around 1,394,737 pesos. Our composite break-even points in terms of units, that will be 795,000 divided by 295 pesos. That will be 2,695 units. Apple Beagle Company would need to have a sales of 1,394,737 or they should be able to sell 2,695 units for them not to incur a profit and losses. Now that we are done with the requirement number one, let's go to the requirement number two which is to compute the allocated composite break-even point. The allocation of composite break-even point in terms of units is made based on sales mix ratio in terms of units as well. Meaning to say, we will go into use this ratio once again if we will go into compute for the allocated composite break-even points in terms of units. And we will go into use this ratio once again if we will go into use the allocated composite break-even point in terms of peso. For the allocated break-even points in terms of units, we have here 2,695 units. Then we will go into allocate it into three products. The Pro, the Pro Max, and the Ultra. Remember that for the Pro, we will go into have 5 over 10 or 1 half, meaning to say that out of 2,695 that should be sold for the company, for Apple Beagle Company to reach the break-even point, it needs to sell 2,695 multiplied by 1 half. That will be 1,348 units. Then for the Pro Max, it needs to sell 3 over 10 out of 2,695 and that will be 809 units. Then let's get the remainder for the Ultra. So 2,695 less 1,348 less 809, that will give us 538 units. Or simply put, 2,695 multiplied by 2 over 10 that will give you an almost the same answer. So basically, what we're trying to do here is that the allocation should be equal to the composite break-even point in terms of units. Now, let's try to compute for the allocated composite break-even points in terms of peso. Remember that we have the composite break-even point in terms of peso amounting to 1,394,737. Seven. Then remember, the allocation for the Pro is 2 over 5.2. Pro Max is 1.8 divided by 5.2. And lastly, 1.4 divided by 5.2. So let's compute for the allocated. For the Pro, we have 536,438. For the Pro Max, out of the composite break-even point, we will go in to have a sales amounting to 482,794 and the remainder is for the ultra lineup. Now let's have requirement number three. We have to determine first the composite break-even point. And for us to do this, we have to get first the composite unit contribution margin. The unit contribution margin here is 300. 350 and 200 respectively. Now for the Pro, Pro Max, and Ultra lineup, let's multiply it by 5, by 3, and by 2. So this came from the sales mix ratio in terms of units that will be 1,500, 1,050, and 400. So our composite unit contribution margin is 2,950. So our sales per mix is equal to the fixed cost which is 795,000 divided by 
the composite unit contribution margin amounting to 2,950, that will be equal to 269.4 units or let's round it up to 270 units. Now that we have the sales per mix amounting to 270 units, then we can be able to compute for the composite break-even points in terms of units. That will be 270 for the Pro, Pro Max, and Ultra multiplied by our number of sales mix. And that will be 5, 3, and 2. Once again, the sales mix that we will go into use here is also the same sales mix that we use to compute for the composite unit contribution margin. 270 multiplied by 5, that will give us 1,350. 270 multiplied by 3, that is 810. And lastly, 270 multiplied by 2, that will give us 540. Let's sum it all together. Answer, 2,700 units. Let us have the last requirement. What will be the composite sales peso if the profit before tax is 2 million peso? Remember that if we are trying to solve for the profit before tax, then we should be able to come up with the composite sales peso is equal to the fixed cost plus the profit divided by average contribution margin rate. Remember, if we are talking about the amounts, we should be able to use the correct average contribution margin rate. And our contribution margin rate that we will go in to follow is 57%. So that will be 795,000 plus 2 million peso divided by 57%. And that will be 2,795,000 divided by 57%. 4,903,509 peso. Now let's have some proof that the composite break-even point that we have computed for the Pro, Pro Max, and Ultra lineup will be equal to the total fixed cost. We have used 1,350, 810, and 540 number of units for the Pro, Pro Max, and Ultra lineup respectively. And we total it amounting to 796,500, which is almost close to 795,000 pesos total fixed cost. Now for us to prove that the difference is due to the rounding off, let us use this pattern. So instead of using 270, let's use 269.5 and you will get almost exact total fixed cost amounting to 795,025 pesos. That's the end of our lecture video. Thank you all for watching.